Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to, uh, I was about to say StarCraft 2, but it is Factorio. I haven't cast StarCraft 2 in a very long time. And we are seeing some interesting things here. Let's move this guy up, actually. There. So he's having trouble picking Steeler from the Express Underground exit, which is uh, somewhat interesting. I don't think he can actually do it. How have we been getting solar panels all this time? I feel like there's just not very well. These guys just haven't been doing a very good job. So anyway, let's... Uh, that may have been... I mean, eventually we would have, because these guys would have been backed up and stuff like that, but we could have done there. Eh, I don't know. I feel like these guys weren't actually running. Look at this guy. He's got 10 advanced solar panels. He only needs five to build this, so that's not good. So we'll move that over a little bit. And yes, now he is definitely picking up steel, so this should be working a little bit better. I mean, overall, if you feed the same amount of steel in there, it comes out to the same, a little bit more efficient, but yes. And I have actually been looking at my previous videos that I've been doing. Um, and we used to do a video in like two or three gig, and the last four that I did were all around the seven gig mark. And it's because I've been driving around in my car and I've been zooming all around the map. Um, if you're not familiar with video capture, it um, basically, it captures things that change. So if you just have a screen like this, you can see the belts are moving a little bit, my mouse is moving, but the terrain, the ground itself, is all the same. It's not changing from second to second, from frame to frame. So the video capture does a lot of optimization. And if I just had a half hour video of me standing here doing nothing, it would be like only 100 meg or 200 meg or something stupid like that. So the more you walk around, the more you drive around. In other words, the bigger this base gets and the more crazy crap I'm going to have to do, um, the bigger the video files are going to get, which means that I'm no longer be able to get, going to be able to upload like three or four a day. But I still want to cast that many, so I don't know what the deal is going to be, um, whether we're going to have to slow down casting a little bit or whether we just have to back up like a few weeks worth of videos or something and just upload as best we can. Uh, it's going to be interesting, but yeah, I love commented, commentating, so I am going to, is that it, commentating? Commenting, is commentating, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so that will be it, we will keep doing that. These guys are all backed up nicely. I don't know where the hell I am running, but I feel like I am not sure why I'm running. Let's have a look here. So, you, yeah, you are uh, still at 61. Kovarex, how's me Kovarex going? These guys are running full. This guy has, uh, is going down to 40, he's going up a bit. So we're close. As soon as this reaches over 100, we're going to start spitting some of these guys out. And then the fuel will start going on and we will have robots continuously being built. And I'm pretty sure I haven't mucked this up at all. Yes, it'll get deposited here, and we will start building construction robots at the same time. Although we'll only have one in there to begin with, until I start laying down blueprints, and then we will have a lot more. So yes, it is going to be awesome. And yeah, Kovarax, we've got 10 machines running at 50 seconds each, so that'll be approximately uh, one new bit of 235 every... Uh, uh, five seconds, I guess, 50 seconds divided by 10, yes, five seconds, and each of them produces 10 actual um, fuel cells. So yeah, we're looking at 50 uh, uranium fuel every, um, yeah, so it's approximately going to be almost one per minute. Does that make sense? Yeah, because 50 seconds, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure I know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm starting to lose it, but the important thing is we have been in this video for almost five minutes and we haven't actually done anything. So let's do another visual inspection. Steel is pretty bad. Plastic is okay-ish. These guys are all running now, so we may start to run into uh, oil problems at some point. But I feel like for now they're okay. What the hell are you complaining about? Heavy oil? Did I forget to do a thing? 
I feel like I forgot to do a thing. Oh my god. At least I can do it long range. I'm always forgetting to do a thing. It's like I fixed light oil and then as soon as I did, heavy oil just backed up. But by then I was gone, of course. Uh, or maybe you was just filling up the pipes slowly. So there we go. Empty, empty, empty. Pretty much empty for all of those. And look at heavy oil starting to rack up nice and quickly because of that extra crap that we had in there. So that should hopefully boost these guys a little bit and we'll start to get a little bit more plastic. Uh, how are you guys going? You're pretty full. You're pretty full. Uh, let's go ahead and let's update this belt and this belt and this belt. Okay, we didn't really need to upgrade that one, but there we go. So now we are gonna have an absolutely full yellow belt going down here, and that is beautiful. Still got that guy being a little bit slow, but that's important. The important thing is we got a full yellow belt. I'm not gonna make this a full blue belt because it wouldn't help, because we wouldn't get that down there. And we've got all the batteries running, which is beautiful. Haven't quite got a full yellow belt of those, but that is fine. Now, I actually did watch a video from a guy called Nilaus. Uh, he is much, much more popular than me. Like everybody's more popular than me. But he did have some really awesome videos about doing different stuff like, uh, actually, I can't remember what these videos were about now. But he had some really good stuff about the logistics train network and how to do that sort of stuff. And I'm sure I will remember it at some point, it was all about, yeah, it was about not needing the trains to be the full limit and being able to shut off loading them halfway through. Like the actual, it's like if you send a train off to get 10,000 instead of 32,000, um, what by default the trains, let's, let me find a train. So this train has got a thing where it goes to supply and it says, all right, copper ore has to be greater than this and two seconds of inactivity. So if you send it off to get 5,000 and the cargo wagons can take 16,000, what'll happen is it'll get 5,000 and then this two seconds of inactivity will never happen because there's still uh, stuff in the chest. So it'll keep loading up to 16,000 anyway. So Nilaus had a very cool bit of circuit network shenanigans, which actually turned these inserters off once the train had got as much as it needed and it was something to do with this output signal here. Like I think this 16K that it's saying there is actually how much it's requesting. So all you do is you link up this guy, which will show how much the train has when you circuit network it up and you link it up to this guy and you say, all right, when this is more than this, shut all the inserters off. And that's beautiful. And we will possibly use that later on. For now with two of these wagons, I'm not sure if it's a bad thing to be filling the trains up completely because they will, I mean, you'll have less trains overall. And the only danger you have with filling the trains up completely is that you are uh, run out at the wrong point. Like if the, we were running out of copper really, really fast, maybe it would be better to have two trains with 8K each than it would be to have one with 16 because you'd have eight and then you'd have eight and you'd get a quicker throughput of this chest being filled up. But if you're never getting to that point where you're running out, then it's okay to have two train, just have one train with 16K as opposed to two trains with 8K, which is really, really nice. And the other thing he actually had was this guy here. So I've got a provide threshold of 10 million to basically never make sure that this never provides anything. And what he actually had was uh, a nice little um, thing here, which actually uh, did some really cool stuff to say that if this number, so you get the negative 32 and you add it to the 12 and it goes up negative 19. So if this number is, basically he did the uh, negative absolute of that copper amount, negative 18. So basically if it's a positive number, then it gets just set to zero. And I don't actually know off the top of my head how he would do that. He's obviously much better with these guys than I am because, geez, I'm in the map view. I need to get out of the map view more often. So this guy, look at this, has got, oh my God, it's got bit manipulation. It's got ands and ors and zors and ja, 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 ja. Mods, like the modulus command, the modulus 
arithmetic operator, not the, uh, is that modulus? Yes, it is. So this is division and this is modulus, not the actual mod you install mod, but the modulus operator. Damn. All right, so this game has everything. You are still unloading stuff for this guy. I feel like that's okay. Oh, we need another copper already. We didn't quite make it. So we're using a decent amount of copper here, actually. Really decent. Um, so yeah, but we've kind of been missing the point here. What is our goal? I feel like our goal has got to be logistic science. We got solar started off. We got robots uh, set up. I feel like logistic science is the way because these robots are slow as crap. And what's going to happen is, ooh, where are you guys going? Have we reached Kovarax? Come on, come on. Yes, we have. We have reached Kovarax. Look at that. We have fuel. That's actually dumped a whole bunch of them out there. There must have been, like, it really went nuts. Like, a whole bunch went in there, and this was stalled, and probably, like, 30 or 40 of the damn things got pushed out. A few more just got pushed out. So, here we are. We have Kovarax. Now, the only problem is uranium is eventually going to run out. So, we will need to get some uranium ore trained in here and dumped into this chest, I reckon. And then no, we can just keep this existing Kovarax, assuming that we don't decide to destroy it as part of our entire purge of the smelting area, which I'll be honest, we probably will. And then we can replace this with a purely logistics bot driven endeavor. But I feel like the bots are actually faster. Maybe not. So let's focus. Let's get back and let's look at logistics science. Because once we get that, we can get cargo capacity for robots. We can get robot speed. We can get a whole bunch of other awesome stuff, which is going to be absolutely essential for a really, really good robot network. And once we got a thousand robots and they've got um, maximum speed down to uh, here, obviously, that's another 65 plus 55. So that's another 150% on top of the 75 they got now. Once we're at that point and we got cargo capacity, which is plus one, but we should be able to pump that up even higher look at that another four another four so it'll go from plus one to a total of two to plus five for a total of six and that's tripling the um efficiency of our robots and plus the extra 150 percent speed we're talking the point where we can remove a lot of things and still have robots do their job because right now robots Look, it, the logistics has already gone up to 97. So at some point we decided 61 robots wasn't enough. And that's just for the fuel that we've been bumping around. So yeah, we really, really do need those upgrades. Otherwise, a thousand robots won't be nearly enough. I mean, maybe even 10,000 robots won't be nearly enough for what I got in mind. So yeah, good to see these guys are backing up. One slot, beautiful. One slot, beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah. You are... Oh, it's actually... It's sort of draining them in an interesting way, but that's good. Keep these guys going, that's all right. Ah, uh, yeah, you are full though, so that is good. Of course you're full, because the belt above you is full. So, logistic signs. Let's get back to it. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. All right, problem number one. Express inserters take titanium, which we ain't got. So that is going to be the focus of this episode and probably the next episode, getting some titanium ore. And once again, this is going to be something that we're going to have to build and then tear down when we redo the smelting area. Um, I really, really want a solid bot network before I tear down the smelting area. I want to be able to use bots to transport ores if we have to for a temporary point of view. Um because this spaghetti is just bad and I don't want to have to deal with it and it's just bad. Like, is this video already full gig? I don't know, it seems like it's already full gig and I've been playing it for 14 minutes. What the hell is going on here? It's just so much walking around and so much map manipulation. Maybe it's moving the map around. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be screwing up my video recording. Geez, I think that just went up 15 meg for me doing that. Okay, never mind. Ah. Uh, Damn, these video files are going to be so huge and my internet is so shit. All right. Give me some freaking fuel. I got wood, don't I? There we go. Now, let's go to... Where is it? Where do we want to go? We got a whole bunch of titanium here. We got a whole bunch over here, though. 
So I feel like we should get a bunch of stations, another station set up here to do this sort of stuff. And then, yeah, we can start working on this titanium. We'll get this stuff out of the way first. You are still good. You are still good. Excellent. So what is this station? This is coal. Of course, this is coal. So let's get supply, coal, time passed. Go. Go forth because I don't want to drive manually anymore. I just want you to head over there and do your stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm having a look at the video size at the moment. And it does seem to be going up pretty fast. It's about a meg a second at the moment, but I'm sure I can make it go faster than that. What are you bots doing? Setting up rails over here. I don't know if I'm actually going to use that one, but yeah, sure. Set up rails there. It's all good. So. Okay, so now we're going to set this up. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to put this over on the other side. And we're squeezing it a little bit. Just a little bit, because it doesn't quite fit on there. But I feel like that's fine. I feel like we are quite okay with that positioning and with that placement. There go all of our bots. And we finally have bots that will actually do a good job. So I can't really destroy these guys because I can't select that one, that little one up there. Now I can select it now that it's down. Uh, you guys. Don't need that, 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 and that. We don't need that, we don't need that. That should be fine. And we don't have a lot of rails either, so I feel like I'm just about to run out. There we go. Oh go back to our network of things. <sighs> excellent, excellent. Uh, that's fine, we don't need a lot of signals, we just need enough, I feel like. And look at that, did you see how beautiful that was when those robots just went out there and they just upgraded everything like it was nothing at all, like it was just easy, so easy, you guys. Upgrade those, let's just piecemeal it. We don't have any red underground, so let's just blue underground over the top of that and we might as well just over the top of that. All right, power, where is the power? There it is. Excellent. Uh, I still feel like we should be overriding these guys. And then you are going to be... How are we going to do this? So we got gems, and we got copper, and we got rutile. I'm feeling okay with this one being rutile. And what we're going to do is all of these three are irrevocably... irrevocably Son of a bitch. They're all really, really close to each other. So they are joined very, very close. And we've got this beautiful little section down here, which has all three of them in a small amount. So we are just going to do a massive mine. We're going to feed it all into this warehouse. And then we're going to filter out the copper and the gems into the next warehouse. And then we're going to filter that out into the next warehouse. And we're going to just kind of set up a chain of warehouse sort of deal. And let's do that right now. Now the question is going to be does um of course we got a curvy rail there of course get rid of that get rid of that but that's all good well oh, look at those robots they are so quick and so beautiful i love robots i've been waiting so long to get the good ones and now i have the good ones and i'm just so happy about it okay Blue belts are good. Need some more of these guys. Grab a stack of those. Need some power poles. We can just make those, I feel like. There we go. Need a couple of warehouses. Steel and iron. Steel and iron. Let's grab some from ye old steel chest. 
and iron is over here. Of course it is. Mm. And of course our inventory is full. But that's fine. And we need a bunch of lights. Of course, I didn't grab enough iron because my inventory was full. It's always the case, isn't it? There we go. Now I got enough iron. Now, this is going to be interesting because if we're going to chain these through a warehouse, we've got to make sure that we do it correctly because what's going to happen is we're going to mine like everything here, like absolutely everything, and then we're going to chain it through a warehouse. And uh, I, don't, I don't actually like that idea as much as I first did because what's going to happen is if this guy gets full of copper or something, it's going to back up. And then we're going to end up with copper in here and yeah, who knows at that point. Although we're not going to filter copper down into there, that would still be bad. So you are going to be rutile. Rutile, that's tungsten. That's rutile. Yup. And you are going to be copper. And I feel like copper is bigger than gems. So yes, we're going to make the second one copper. And... And then the next last one is going to be gems. I don't know. I don't know what gems are going to look like, to be honest. Um, I don't know whether it's going to give me unsorted gem ore. Okay, I think that's what it's going to give me. So let's do that, and then we do this here, and we're actually going to do four of them, and then we're going to do two of them over here. So you are going to be copper and copper, and you are going to be gems. Gems, gems, copper, copper, gems, gems. And then we can just mine everything we want and chuck it straight into this warehouse. And I feel like that'll be good. And whether or if we start backing up, like we said we might, that'll just have to be something that we look at in the future. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. And now we can actually start doing mining blueprints, I feel like. I feel like we're at the stage where I'm uh, a bit more comfortable doing that. Uh, how do we want to do this? I feel like the good old up-down is the way to go. I feel like we can do something like this. Eight, and then you guys are going to be a bit special because you go like that directly into there and then the rest of them we're going to take out the top side so this is where we start to just say look we are awesome and we can afford to waste a few things Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Exactly, exactly enough. Now we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to steal a bit of things, I guess, from over here. A uh, bit of mines. Dows. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. That just dumped whole bunch of random crap into my inventory but I didn't have enough room for it so kind of didn't go in there anyway so that's kind of fine uh, uh, don't need that much plastic don't need that much glass or that or that or that don't need that that don't need that much tin don't need that much of that or that or that or that or that okay don't need any of you well now we just screwed it now we just screwed it. Half of the useful things I actually had in my inventory are gone now. All right, let's go through. All right, you, you, iron chest, I don't need you. Uh, don't need any of these. Take that. Take the, no, we don't need that. Ah, whatever lights up, whatever lights up, I am taking. Okay, bit of stone. Only a bit, 
Give me a little bit engine. We're going to take that. We're going to take that. I don't know why, but we're going to take it. We'll take all of you. We're going to take all of you. Uh, flying robot frame. I don't know why they're in there, but they definitely don't need to be wasted. Uh, where? Are, why are these not sorted? They're in all sorts of orders. Blue belt. Blue belt. Blue belt. Blue, 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 blue. Uh, yeah, then, then that, and oh, robots. We definitely need those. Car is that my only car? Take those modules, lab speed modules, better circuits, even better circuits, batteries, rubber. We need rubber, okay. And we'll take one stone and we'll take those. I feel like there's probably more important stuff in here that I am actually missing. Logistics, get rid of all of you. I only want this one. I keep pressing the wrong damn button and I'm sure I'm missing stuff in here, but you know what? It's all good because we can just build more of it. Cargo wagons, that stuff. Yeah, let's take that. Electrolyzers, that. Oh, what a pain in the ass. What are we even doing here anymore? I really, really don't know. So mining drills, at least we got those, which is what we originally went over there for. So, you guys, get powered. Yeah. So now what we do is we do this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Bloody is a rock in the way somewhere, so we have to shift click that one. And then one, two. And we're missing a little bit up here, but that's fine. We can put an extra drill up there. If I had an extra drill, I could put it up there, but I kind of don't. Uh, you. Give me some more drills. And they're all gone. That, I almost had a drill I could put down there, but I should have picked up more. I should have picked up more. Or I should have waited until they actually got used up. Oh, look at that. They're all getting used up. Let's pick up a ton more. So you go like that, and the rest are covered, I think. Excellent. Of course, if we roll down here, they're going to see a whole bunch of guys they can create, and that is going to be fine. And then what we need to do is we need to put down these guys. So you are like that, and you are like that, and you are like that. And we grab them in the middle and we put them over here and we put them over here. And we have just enough, not quite enough. We are missing so many things here. Oh, that is not unsorted gem or that is all sorts of crap. Look at all of that crap. Uh, interesting. I don't know where that unsorted gem ore is then, but I'm glad we aren't chucking these directly into the warehouse because that would have been very embarrassing. Uh, you guys, you are going to be all of this crap. Uh, I'm assuming it's just the ores. Two, three, and then four, So that's that, and that's that. So you go like that, and then you go like that. And already our system has failed because there's some titanium ore in here. How the hell did you get in there? Ah, uh, it must have been when I was playing around with these and I emptied them and uh, then everything went to crap. So, let's, what did we do? We were missing something, weren't we? We were missing a substation. That's what we were missing. All right, I'm going to get this mining outpost finished off and then we are probably going to call it a day here. But we are so close. There we go, robot. Go finish it off, please. Thank you. Yeah. So we go up this line and pick up some stuff. Ruby ore, sapphire ore, emerald ore, amethyst ore, topaz ore, and diamond ore. All of the ores. 
and we make them using this stuff. So if we have a look at our filter, it's all yours. All right, excellent. So now we just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a little bit awkward, but we can make that work. So you go down like this, and you go in like that. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And what we do here is we grab this guy, get rid of all those belts and all those, and we do some awesome blueprinting. And this, this is where robots really, really start becoming awesome because we can just do all of this crap as much as we want and the robots will just do everything for us. So we just drag it, we just hold down shift and drag it everywhere we want. Uh, like that, and then we go back and we get some more belts because we keep running out of belts. Oh. <sighs> Excellent, excellent, excellent. Imagine what we can do with bloody 400 robots, because this is just 50. Once we get up to the 400 number, it'll start to be off the freaking chain. Come on, you guys. Get your shit together. Bye-bye, trees. Ah, oh, we uh, needed to curve them a little bit sooner. No, you're going the other way. Alright, one, two, three, four. I kind of feel like we may be running into problems, but yeah, we'll just have to deal. And unfortunately, because of the way I've done these, uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to actually back up this guy. Uh, we can back up these, we can put another warehouse and put an out and an in. And what that'll mean is that this officially has double the space, which would be awesome. Oh man, look at this. This is a mess. Okay. You are no longer in charge because I just realized that this is going to be interesting. We have six different products here, and I have no idea how to uh, get them over in any sort of way that makes sense. So you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Ah! That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Now I've just mixed them up even further. Screw it. I'm so bad at this game. At least we had these sort of working like that. Now I've mixed it up even more. Whatever. It's all good. We'll sort it out later. So yeah, that'll be all of those guys. And yes. So they're actually taking in all of their ruby ore and stuff like that in numbers that are actually bigger than the ability for these things to push out. Which is somewhat concerning. But we just have to deal with it. You know what we can do? The last belt is absolutely 100% going to be uh, going to be gems. Absolutely 100%. So we can safely put that directly in the warehouse that is actually going to be dealing with gems. And I'm going to put it in like this because I like the idea of doing that, uh, doing that spare warehouse sort of deal. So there we go. So now... The throughput going into the main chest is going to be somewhat less taxing. And I wish these had six, because then I could uh, sort that out a little bit better. And then we got these two. And then rutile and copper are mixed in with the rest of them. So there's not much I can do about those. they just got to go through. And this guy, the copper is going straight out. I guess there's not as much copper in here as there might be. But there's still a decent amount. None of these guys are backing up. 
This guy ran out really fast of all these resources. So did this guy. So did this guy. Oh my god, how are the gems are really running out fast. This is only about a million of the damn things. Oh, this is only about a million of that. And this is two million of that. So yeah, those guys are running out. Well, we've only got about... I do not understand. Maybe it's just those edges were just really, really crappy and right on the edge and stuff like that. But yeah. All right, we got a ton of gems now. A uh, ton of gems. Shoot, shoot, shoot it. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should think about replacing this setup with warehouses as well. Because... You know what? That would not be a bad idea. I've been thinking about it. I have seen it in some cases. Just put a warehouse down there and another warehouse there and then load directly from warehouses onto the train. Because if you think about it, that's kind of... It just makes sense. It really, really does make sense. So we're going to do that and then we're going to finish the episode because I feel like this is quite a decently long episode. So you are going to be one, two... Yep. And then you are going to be taking all of that. And you are going to be stone brick. Where's me stone brick? That's a lot of stone brick. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're out of wood. And we can put all of this back in there. Or oh, we'll take one or two bits of it. And then we'll go to Mr. Wood. And I'm actually quite hungry. Rah, go away. But I don't know why I'm so hungry. I have been at work and I did have quite a bit to eat while I was at work, so it should be all right. Okay. So now's the tricky bit. Destroy all that. Let's turn these guys off. Let's turn these guys off. And then... Oh... Uh... There are ways you can do this easier with robots, but it's a little bit tricky, so let's just empty this all out manually. Or well, what we can do now is we can put a warehouse down, and the warehouses are 6x6, six six, so it makes perfect sense to use them for the bloody trains. Uh... Put them in here, and then we put that in there, and then we put a second warehouse down. So this goes like that, and then this guy, unfortunately, has to go down like that, because we don't really have another choice about it. We could put it out the side, but that looks even uglier, so... So what that's going to do is it's going to fill these guys up completely. Absolutely completely. Um, and this guy has 1,800 and this has 1,400. Uh, now the only thing that's going to happen here is these might become uneven. So what we should do here is... Well, that doesn't really matter because these are going to be splitting out at exactly the same time. The only reason they're uneven right now is because I was dumping. So we're going to take half of that stuff. We're going to put that there. 5.8 and 11. Take half. Put half there. 9.9, 7.5. So if we're doing this correctly, uh, what we actually can do is we would need logistic spots. I was thinking we could do something a little bit nicer. But here, what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here and we're going to let this copper ore come up. Although it's going to take these guys ages because they're so slow. So what we might have to do is do the old dumping everything warehouse trick. And then pick up all of these guys and dump them all back in there. And then we'll leave that. No, we'll pick that up. And then we get a light over here. A light in the dark places of the world. 
Why couldn't you go in there? Because I was putting you on the wrong latitude. And if we work the trains out correctly, then these guys should always be even. Absolutely always. They might be a little bit different, but they should always be even. So now we do the same thing again. And I realize we're pushing our luck a little bit with regards to the time, but you know what? I'm making these videos and I will keep playing until I uh, don't want to play anymore. So we're just going to finish this off. We'll put those there. And then we are just going to pick them all up. And there's really not a lot in these chests anyway. Although, they only stack up to 100, so that really does add up. Jesus, that adds up. I can see those guys backing up really, really fast. And only because they just, they just don't stack up as much as you would like. Okay. We're going to need this warehouse back. Uh, at least they seem to be approximately even with regards to the uh, to the types of gems coming out. If there was like more of one gem coming out, that would be very, very bad. So, there we go. So you are still backed up pretty heavily. That's all right. We still got 27,000 of this stuff in there. These guys are approximately the same. 34K. All right. I feel like I am absolutely 100% definitely done this episode. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and let's, um, let's go into the next episode where we will be building a station for Rutile and then getting some titanium. So I will see you guys then.